The 2024 Grand Highlander is a three-row midsize SUV that is larger than the standard Highlander. It includes multiple improvements which make it rank among our favorite choices. It obtains high scores for comfort, technology, and fuel efficiency despite having one of the most roomy third rows for adults. The Grand Highlander truly is a magnificent vehicle. Driving aids like adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and traffic sign recognition are all included in the Grand Highlander's lowest level, which is incredibly well equipped. You also get wireless connectivity, a widescreen display, and smartphone integration for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Choose the top platinum trim and you'll get one of the few hands-free driving systems on the market, Traffic Jam Assist. The new Grand Highlander is more than simply a redesigned version of the standard Highlander, it's an entirely new car. Toyota really thought about calling it something entirely different because it is such a unique product. With seats for 7 or possibly 8 adults and some space for their things, this car competes with the Honda Pilot, Kia Telluride, and Volkswagen Atlas. The Grand Highlander's 4-cylinder engine generates a lot of power at low RPM, which makes it enjoyable to drive in town. The all-wheel drive Grand Highlander reached 60 miles per hour in 8 seconds flat, which is a little slower than the majority of three-row, mid-size SUVs with V6 engines. The Grand Highlander still has a rather impressive ability to stop quickly and confidently, as well as navigate a winding route. The Grand Highlander's handling balance is subtly improved by the torque vectoring AWD system, which is an optional feature. This system works by sending engine power to specific rear wheels. It also provides the traditional advantage of improved traction in slippery circumstances. The most crucial aspect of the Grand Highlander is that it is simple to drive. The Grand Highlander has a smooth, comfortable ride. The compliant suspension smooths out both significant and minor road irregularities while preventing a floating feeling at higher speeds. Even on lengthy trips, the front seats are pleasant, and our test Grand Highlander's second row captain's chairs offer virtually the same level of comfort. The third row is a huge improvement over the standard Highlander. It is much more comfortable. Of course, the padding is a little thinner to make folding easier, but the third row sits higher off the ground, providing significantly more leg room and a posture ideal for adults. The climate controls are simple to use and aesthetically superior to those in the Highlander. The typical tri-zone system has sufficient cooling and heating capacity, which helps make up for the subpar seat ventilation and heating. The Grand Highlander is one of the best options if having a roomy third row is crucial to you. There is plenty of room in the first and second rows of seats, and the third row is now completely suitable and comfortable for adults. The front seats are comfortable, but taller drivers might desire for a little more extension range from the telescopic steering wheel and thigh cushion adjustability. We rate the Grand Highlander the highest marks for outside visibility. The small front roof pillars provide for improved visibility around curves. Among the Grand Highlander's optional features that can be useful are technological components like the camera-based rearview mirror, which allows you to see out the back even when the cargo compartment is completely loaded. The surround view camera system that is available features an intriguing see-through capability that makes use of the cameras to show any ground markings that you have driven over. It is pointed and can be turned to look all around the vehicle. The 12.3-inch touchscreen was an option in the Grand Highlander. A standard screen size is 8 inches, although the screen responds swiftly to inputs and the images look excellent, occasionally surface reflections make using it more challenging than it needs to be. 
a few of the menus can be difficult to understand. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, the most recent comprehensive system of advanced driver aids, is standard on all Grand Highlanders, which is something that not all rivals provide. Along with other things, we believe that all of the features, from adaptive cruise control to lane keeping assistance, are well tuned and beneficial for everyday driving. Top it all off with the fact that Toyota's voice recognition system is now among the best. You can ask for information like jokes and the weather, as well as typical Google type searches, because the system is connected to the internet. In comparison to a regular Highlander, the Grand Highlander has larger cargo room. There are now 20.6 cubic feet of more space, or roughly 5 extra cubic feet, behind the third row. Compare that to the Volkswagen Atlas and the Kia Telluride. It increases to an even more amazing 57.9 cubic feet behind the second row, and when both rows are folded, it reaches an outstanding 97.5 cubic feet. Loading up your car with bags for a family road trip shouldn't be difficult. The Grand Highlander makes commendable advancements in cabin storage for minor goods as well. Better storage and larger cup holders are located in front of the gear selector. Additionally, the underarm storage feels deeper and bigger than it does in the standard Highlander. The second row includes functional door cubbies, a removable center storage compartment with space for phones, as well as a few safe cup holders. Even the third row features a phone holder and two cup holders on either side. The optional captain seats have a substantial amount of four-slash-aft sliding mobility, making it simple to fit a large rear-facing car seat in the second row. All sorts of child safety seats may easily be installed in the car seat anchors, which include two sets if you're installing little children in the third row. The Grand Highlander's four cylinders use fuel fairly efficiently. The EPA anticipates that the all-wheel drive platinum trim model we tested will achieve 22 miles per gallon in combined city and highway driving. Models with front-wheel drive get 24 combined MPG, which is somewhat better. Although a few extra miles per gallon may not seem like much, it matters for this type of car. We got 24.4 miles per gallon on our test, which is rather encouraging and suggests the EPA's prediction should be feasible. It is noteworthy that the Grand Highlander Hybrid is predicted to achieve up to 36 miles per gallon combined in its most effective configuration. The Grand Highlander feels more upscale than the Highlander due to the small details. The cabin is well built, with plush, padded surfaces where it counts. There might be hints of semi-luxury ambience in here if it weren't for some wood trim that has an absurdly fake-looking finish.